Hi, this is Josh Olson, and you're watching Trailers from Hell. Uh, I'm here today to talk about uh, one of Sam Peckinpah's stranger and more disturbing films, Straw Dogs. Um, it's, in a weird way, one of my favorite movies ever made, although I probably shouldn't cop to that in public because some of the things I like about it are a little creepy and disturbing. I love the way the trailer starts, uh, ratcheting up the tension with just the sound of the silver balls clacking and these strange shots of a pensive Dustin Hoffman. Back to the clacking balls, now Susan George's breasts. We've now met two of the most important characters in the film and these strange guys, and then bam, an explosion of violence. Um, one of the things I, I guess like is not the right word, but one of the things that fascinates me about this film is uh, whether it's intentional or not, Peckinpah really was tapping into uh, some very um, screwed up and kind of primal fears, I think, that, that men have. It's uh, a very disturbing, uh, very honest look at um, uh, one of the sadder parts of the male ego. Uh, the sort of perception that, 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 you know, Dustin Hoffman is this, this egghead, this bookish egghead who can't satisfy his gorgeous, sexy young wife who, uh, of course, is flaunting what she has to every man in town, who is, of course, far more virile than Dustin Hoffman. Um, I'm not sure how much of that was intentional uh, and how much of that was just Sam maybe telling us a little bit more about himself than, than he wanted, but uh, it's a very uncomfortable film in, in a very interesting way. Uh, it's also funny because uh, you watch this film and it's easy to see it on the most basic level as uh, a revenge film, this guy defending his house from the bad guys. It's interesting to know that uh, Sam Peckinpah felt that there was really only one real villain in the movie, and that was Dustin Hoffman. I also love this line in the trailer. He unleashes Dustin Hoffman. Imagine there was a time when they made movies like that, where you would unleash Dustin Hoffman.